According to a top trader, Pepe could still have room to run. Yes, even after topping out in the mid fours recently on a Binance listing, which looks to be right now at least a buy the rumor, sell the news event. However, Pepe is holding the line. And this particular trader sees some very interesting familiarities with a popular tech stock that burst on the scene back in 2020. You may remember this one, Zoom. Zoom went up 800%, which is absolutely insane when you're talking about stock prices going up. And a very similar pattern could be playing out right here with Pepe. So we're going to dive into it in this video, guys. Again, this is not financial advice. It is just one perspective from one trader out there. But it, of course, is gaining some traction and gaining some news. So it's newsworthy. And that's why we're covering it. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it as well in this video. So as we scroll on down and get started, make sure you guys hit the like button, share this video out by pushing us up in the old YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already. All right. So, of course, Pepe, the rallies were insane late last week. We had some amazing live streams, by the way. If you were on those, let me know down below in the chat because, man, we had a blast. Uh, that was a ton of fun. So an analyst out there, Kaleo, tells his nearly 600,000 Twitter followers that Pepe's recent eruption is very reminiscent of Zoom's price action that we saw back in early 2020 when the tech stock soared 800% in less than 12 months, which, again, is absolutely insane when it comes to the stock market. Now, according to Kaleo, Zoom traded below a diagonal resistance before its meteoric ascent. Could that be happening with Pepe? Well, stay here in this video. We're going to talk about that, which he notes looks similar to Pepe's current market structure on the lower time frames. He says, and I quote, if I have the ability to create bottoms in the markets, surely I have the ability to create tops. Here's a comparison of Zoom during the COVID bubble versus Pepe now. Kaleo goes on to say that Pepe has already managed to take out the diagonal resistance after printing that new high right ahead of the Binance listing. Pepe is out here actually going for it, he says. Pepe is at Kaleo's, uh, looking at Kaleo's charts. Uh, it appears that he sees Pepe rallying close to, get this, the 507 level before topping out and reversing its trend. He thinks, based on his technical analysis, that this, this is where we could go from here. Now, at current trading right now, that is upside potential of 130%, still from where we are today, uh, as Pepe's trading just below the 503 level, suggesting this potential upside. Pepe is the 42nd largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Absolutely insane that it has crossed over a $1 billion market cap. It's skyrocketed by over 5,330% from its all-time low, uh, which it recorded back on April 18th. Very reminiscent of what happened in May just two years ago. May 2021 was the start of the Shiba Inu rally and the Shiba Inu story. Of course, that story is ongoing. I'm talking about Shiba Inu every single day on the channel too. So if you're interested in all things crypto, we cover top 100 projects, blue chips, AI cryptos, meme coins. We've got everything because you know what? We have to. We have to stay focused on everything if we're trying to make money in cryptocurrency. So make sure you guys are subscribed down below. We'll see if this plays out. We'll see if this particular trader is right. Let me know what you guys think down below. My thoughts? Listen, it's just one TA uh, person out here with an opinion. However, I feel just from sentiment, from fundamental analysis, this run's not just over. It's not over just yet. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.